Dancing with a mannequin is a little bit strange. It's, it's an interesting experience, to put it down that way, yeah. I find myself apologising to her several times when I sort of knocked her over or whatever, then remembered she's not actually a person. Singing and dancing at the same time uh, can be a bit tricky. Obviously, we learn the, the words and the music first, um, and you seem to have a real grasp of that and then you get into a production rehearsal and you're being asked to do all these dance routines and all the words and the music go completely out of your head. The real difficulty is to get all the detail in. A dancer would dance and just count, whereas we have to sing and remember all the words in Italian. And on top of that, we have to follow a lot of dynamics, um, little staccato markings, little accent markings. We start to rehearse these things. We learn the dance moves and it all falls apart and then gradually as things come back together we put more and more of the detail in as we go along and then hopefully by the time we open the show it will be absolutely perfect. I'm very much looking forward to opening night. It's a piece that I uh, did seven years ago with Scottish Opera and I haven't done it again in that time so it's an opera I love and is loved by many uh, opera fans. It's great music, Rigoletto. It's got some really good choruses, really. Some of them are, are really big, tub-thumping choruses. Uh, Ved is one of the great chorus writers, and um, it's always great fun to sing any of his work. We try to work really hard to get the contrasts in colour and, and volume and things like that so we can make it sound as exciting as possible, but it's really, really good music to sing. I want you. 